Can I say something about Frank while I'm at it? I've known Frank for many years, and we've interacted from time to time. The one man I would like to be able to teach me history would be Frank. He is an outstanding instructor, and if I can quote my wife, she said he's the kindest and easiest to listen to history instructor she's ever heard. The only thing she didn't mention about him, she never said he was handsome or good looking, which probably should be added, but uh, he was an outstanding instructor and a good friend and a real asset to our community. To me, I love where I come from. I'm proud of where I come from. I believe everyone should at least acknowledge that the place that you're from has made you who you are, whether it's good or bad. Because a lot of times we concentrate on the national stories or the big historical moments, but there are things that happen in your own backyard that I, would, that I learned from Dr. Dr. Nickel that I then shared with my students. There's things that happen in your own backyard that are just fascinating that help contribute to the larger national story. Okay, so he has every piece of history this, that this community could ever possibly want. I mean, we have this and future generations have this because of Frank Nichol. It's amazing the research he's done on his own time, on his own dime. He does this research and he has these amazing archives of things so that people will never forget. I'm Elizabeth Gray. I was a student of Dr. Nickel in the fall of 1992. He was my American history teacher, uh, one of the few classes I never wanted to miss. Uh, I do remember that year, that semester, he assigned us to read uh, Alexis de Tocqueville's Democracy in America, and that's certainly reading I would have never picked up on my own. Um, but it was uh, little pieces like that that um, made him my most influential college professor that I had. Um, and Dr. Nickel, and I'm, I'm certain he did this for many students, but he really gave me a lifelong um, desire for to learn and to learn about our history, and that's something that's never gone away. He really woke that up, and um, I appreciate him doing that. Frank is a living history book. I mean, there's nothing that you can ask him about Southeast Missouri history and Eastern Missouri, Southern Illinois, that he doesn't know. And just to be able to capture that would be, I think, extraordinary for our community. That could be developed into a major history museum, perhaps in conjunction with the Smithsonian, uh, who are now moving out and putting history, different museums around the country where better to start than here, where Grant took command of his army and involved at least the Civil War part of that history in a good way. Where I come from matters, and it's important. You know, along with the education aspect of that, you know, you don't get this information, it, it just doesn't magically appear in a book. You know, someone has to go and get it. Someone has to gather it. Someone has to be the storyteller to pass it on. You know, all of those things together, I think, are just, you can't put a price on it. It's impossible. There is no amount of money that could buy it. If you've ever been around Dr. Frank Nickel or heard him speak, then you know that he is a wealth of information. His, his stories and, and uh, his passion that he brings to history really make it come alive. And I think that's why it's so important for us to support the Kellerman Foundation and their efforts to preserve Dr. Nichols' work, his files, his research um, that he has through the Nickel Regional Heritage Archive. And um, I'm, I just think that it's very important for us to be a part of that and to know our history. I, I mean, I think if you don't know where you came from, you don't know where you're going. I don't want my kids to not know the history of what has gone on in this community. And you have to know what has happened in the past so that you don't repeat the mistakes in the future. The Kellerman Foundation now has all of my archival uh, materials. They need your support to help preserve 
and develop those uh, materials so that future generations can understand more fully, more completely, the historical evolution of Southeast Missouri.